Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ayushan and you're seeing our channel Ayushan Rap Classes. So, first important thing in this video, I'm going to tell you uh, tax amendments for CA enter November 19 have been uh, uploaded on my uh, telecom channel and telecom group I will be sharing uh, uh, the link of a telecom channel and telecom group uh, in the description uh, this is the second uh, video of uh, RTP series okay second video of RTP series previous one I will be sharing the link of uh, uh, the of the previous uh, uh, video in the description okay so do visit it uh, do visit the channel so that you can get uh, regular updates with arrangements for tax. Okay, so so let's start with the RTP of accounts for new course. See, question number two. And one more thing. Uh, in previous attempt of May 18th, sorry, of May 19th, uh, I, uh, some have uh, uploaded important chapters uh, uh, for CA Inter new course okay accounts paper important chapters and uh, fortunately 100% paper was uh, from those chapters only okay so this time I'll also be uploading so keep visiting uh, my channel and uh, my uh, telegram group okay so let's start question number two cash flow statement market uh, market an important question okay because this question is difficult to find in uh, study material and uh, practice manual okay firstly we are given with the balance sheet uh, for the year uh, 2018 and 2018, 19 and 17, 18. Okay, this is the balance sheet we are given with. Then we are given with uh, the notes to accounts. Okay, so additional information 18,000 depreciation for the year and 31st for the year and it has been written off on plant machinery and no depreciation has been charged on land and building. Okay. A piece of land has been sold out for 50,000 and the balance has been revalued to a profit on such sale and revaluation being transferred to capital reserve. There is no other entry in capital reserve. Okay, see. For land and building, 75,000 and 1 lakh. Uh, that means uh, opening balance is uh, 1 lakh balance uh, carried down is 75,000. So, two banks go out on one lakh, buy banks carry out on 75,000, buy bank 50,000. Okay? Buy bank 50,000, and uh, that means 75,000 must be in capital reserve. Yeah, we'll check the calculation. It's 25,000 here. Okay? We'll check, we'll check the calculation. Okay? A plant was uh, sold for a thousand return and value being uh, put in uh, okay, dividend received. Market the bottom point uh, amounted to 2500, which includes pre position dividend of 600. And interim dividend of 10,000, including the dividend distribution tax, have been paid. Okay, no non current investment uh, given the balance sheet represents investment in shares of other companies. Okay. Amount of provision for tax existing was paid in the year. Existing was paid in the year 2018. Okay, let's start with cash flow statement. Cash flow statement. See. Firstly, cash flow uh, from operating activities. Cash from operating activities. See here. 
I hope the question is in uh, you are having the questions in your front. Okay, so let's start. Changes in profit and loss account. Firstly, changes in profit and loss account. See. From uh, 18,000, 27,000 was their profit. So that means 9,000 was the profit for the current year. Okay, 9,000 here. Yeah. Then, uh, dividend declared during the year. We added. Okay, what does the provision at 3 says? We have to uh, add to the dividend declared during the year. Okay, add 37,000. Okay, next thing. Let's see if we have another dividend. Suppose we have in turn dividend. Yeah, fifth point. And in direct dividend of the big 10,000 including DT have been paid. So we'll be adding uh, in time dividend. Okay. Add in time dividend. Ten thousand. Next thing. Next next point. Then uh, we'll see the uh, note of uh, reserve and surplus general reserve. Uh, uh, an amount of ten thousand has been transferred of uh, to general reserve. Okay, so we'll add that two. As there is increase in the general reserve, add increase in or transfer to general reserve. Okay, ten thousand. Then add provision for tax PFT thirty-two thousand thirty-two thousand. Okay, this is our cash from the uh, oh sorry, a net profit before tax. Okay, total is let's see what's the total nine plus thirty seven, forty six, fifty six, sixty six, and sixty six plus thirty two, Okay, now next thing we will be making some work notes here. See, work notes first work note we will be making of. Land and building. Okay. Land building account. Two bands brought down. See. Oh, what, what's the bands brought down for land and building? Have a look here. Seven, uh, sorry, one lakh, one lakh, by the skeleton, seventy five thousand. Okay, by bank, by bank, save. Uh, 
have the amount of uh, two capital Z. Uh, it is the amount of profit. Okay, amount of profit. If you see capital Z. If you see the amount of capital is it is uh, 25,000 only in the current year. See, it is here. Okay. Next working note. Planted machinery. Balance of planted machinery. Uh, two bands below term. One lakh ninety one thousand by bands carried uh, sorry two bands got down ninety thousand and by bands carried down one lakh ninety one thousand two bands got down ninety thousand and by bands carried down one lakh ninety one thousand okay by I think there is depreciation. Depreciation of eighteen thousand, I suppose. Yeah, depreciation uh, eighteen thousand by depreciation uh, This will be added in uh, the in this uh, operating activities at depreciation. Uh, amount eighteen thousand. Okay. Next, a plan was sold for twelve thousand return on value being fifty thousand on the date of uh, sale after selling depreciation. Okay. By bank sale twelve thousand and by Depreciation three thousand. Oh, sorry, uh, not depreciation by profit and loss account. Loss on sale. Okay. Uh, how much is the amount? Three thousand. Fifteen thousand was the total amount. Okay. Next, plant machine account is over. Uh, the total uh, would be uh, nearly. Two lakh twenty four thousand and two bands here. The bands one that is purchase one lakh twenty four thousand. See, uh, in the fixed assets uh, case, uh, what you have to assume? See, the first thing you have to assume is depreciation. See. In this depreciation was done, so we did not take depreciation here. Okay, and we took a uh, profit and loss account as balancing figure. Okay, if profit and loss account give, uh, profit and loss is given, depreciation depreciation is given, then we we'll assume sale or purchase. Okay, next working note, working note number three. Working note number. Three. Or we will make it later. Okay. First, we will gonna add these things here. Profit uh, loss count three thousand. Loss on sale. Add loss on sale three thousand. Next thing. Next next point. If we come to balance sheets, uh, we are given with intangible assets. That is goodwill. Goodwill is forty-seven thousand in the current year, sixty thousand for the previous year. That means goodwill has been written off. So we we'll add here in the operating activities. Add goodwill written off thirteen thousand. 
वर्किंग कैपिटल कैश फ्लो बिफोर वर्किंग कैपिटल चेंजेस टू चेंजेस 98 प्लस सिटी वन लाख सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड इट कम्स टू वन लाख थर्टी टू थाउजेंड ओके आई होप टू जाए यू गॉट इट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी गॉट डिविडेंड इनकम सी ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज Okay, fifteen hundred rupees. How twenty one hundred minus six hundred? That comes to be fifteen hundred. Okay, we'll subtract it. Sub we'll subtract all the uh, all the incomes and add all the losses. Less dividend income, or you can say interest income. Fifteen hundred. Okay. Then we have a uh, changes in uh, what? Changes in what? Current assets and current liabilities. Current assets. Firstly, inventories from uh, eighty-five thousand to seventy-eight thousand. That is increase in inventories. Also, oh, decrease in inventories. Will be seven thousand. Decrease in inventories. Add. Decrease in inventories means. <coughs> decrease in inventories means the inventory is sold out. That is, the, there is the income of cash. There is <coughs> inflow of cash. Decrease in inventory. Seven thousand. <coughs> Trade receivables. There is an uh, there is increase in uh, trading receivables from seventy five thousand to one lakh eighty thousand uh, to one lakh eight thousand. That means thirty three thousand rupees have been increased in, in trade receivables. So we will subtract it. Then we have. Current liabilities. See, trade payables have been increased uh, from forty-four to sixty-five. That is twenty-one thousand increase in, in trade payables. Increase in add increase in trade payables twenty-one thousand. Okay. Then other current liabilities from twenty-seven to thirty-seven. From twenty-seven to thirty-seven, that is increase, increase in other current liabilities, ten thousand rupees, ten thousand rupees. Short-term provision for tax. Okay. So we'll make a working note for the same. I think there's no need of working note for short-term provisions. Okay, we will adjust. Okay. So, it is it's over. Now the last thing is uh, a payment of income tax. That is twenty eight thousand rupees. Less payment of income tax twenty eight thousand. Total amount. One lakh thirty-two thousand minus fifteen hundred. One lakh thirty-two thousand minus fifteen hundred. Plus seven thousand minus thirty-three thousand. Plus 
Next, here plus twenty one thousand plus ten thousand minus eighteen thousand plus twenty one thousand plus ten thousand minus twenty eight thousand. The amount is one lakh seven thousand five hundred. Okay, if I'm not wrong. Let me check. Let me check again. I think we are missing something. Inventory seven thousand added. Okay, three disables so, uh, seven like eight thousand. There was increase three thousand. It's also correct here. We are subtracted. Then three tables forty four to sixty five. We are gonna add it. Then twenty seven thirty seven. We are going to add it. Other current liabilities. Yeah. So if we are mistaken here. We are mistaken. Sorry for the same. We are, I did not see the other current liabilities. Not. This is a dividend. Uh, dividend declared. Okay, so here we will okay, total amount is thirty seven thousand five hundred cash from operating activities CFOA. Okay, cash from investing activities next. Uh, if we uh, talk about working notes, for working note, sale of land and building, uh, amount fifty thousand. Sale of land and building, fifty thousand. Then, uh, sale of uh, pan machinery, twelve thousand and. Uh, a purchase of plant machine was thirty-four thousand. Sale of plant machinery twelve thousand and purchase one lakh thirty-four thousand. Okay, next point. Uh, it was it was a simple point. So. Uh, we are gonna make uh, working note number three. See here. Investments. Have a look here. Investment working note number three. Investments. Balance brought down ten thousand. Buy balance skeleton. 
How much? Thirty-five thousand. We have received the dividend by bank. Six hundred. Okay. A two bank balancing figure. Twenty-five thousand six hundred amount. It's also completed here. Twenty-five thousand six hundred. Uh, purchase of investment twenty five thousand six hundred subtract. The amount here will be CFIA fifty sixty two thousand sixty two minus one lakh fifty five thousand six hundred. It shall be ninety three thousand six hundred approximately. Check. No. Yeah, uh, one thing uh, left over dividend received. Dividend twenty one hundred. It was left. So ninety five thousand five hundred is negative. Here is a total. Next thing. We are left with what CFFA from financing activities. Uh, it's simple here. Uh, there was a issue of equity shares. Issue of equity shares. Uh, that is one lakh. If you check the uh, uh, notes, then redemption of the present shares of rupees fifty thousand negative. Next point in time dividend in, in time dividend that is inclusive inclusive of DDT it includes ten thousand and last final dividend twenty seven thousand here the amount would be one lakh minus uh, Fifty thousand, fifty thousand minus ten thousand, forty, forty, thirteen thousand. Yeah. Cash from all activities. Uh, so thirteen thousand minus uh, plus. Ninety-seven thousand five hundred. Ninety-five thousand five hundred. Nineteen thousand. Is the amount nineteen thousand? You know, so it's not nineteen thousand, thirteen thousand plus uh, ninety seven thousand five hundred minus ninety five thousand five hundred fifteen thousand is the amount. Sorry for the mistake. Fifteen thousand. Next point. Uh, cash and cash flows in the beginning. Cash and cash equivalents in the beginning. Ah, uh, how much? Seventeen thousand. And uh, thirty-two thousand is at the end. Okay, the question is finished. The question is matched. Next question. I'm going. Uh, now I will be little fast. Okay. Question number six: The redemption of present shares. Question number six: The following are the extracts of balance sheet. Okay, share capital we are given with. Reserves and surplus we are given with. Uh, on January first, uh, two thousand. X two the board of directors uh, uh, the board of directors de decided to redeem the preference shares at the premium of five percent by utilization of reserve. Or what are you going to prepare the necessary journal entries? Okay. So first we have to make uh, the amount due that is uh, preference share capital account ten uh, percent preference uh, share capital account debited a uh, premium on redemption account debited to preference shareholders. 
so let's start first entry 10% passing share capital debited and premium 5% premium account debited to 10% passing share holders firstly we have to make the amount due the amount here would be Two lakh uh, and it's five percent. That is ten thousand. Ten thousand. Two lakh. Ten thousand and here two lakh ten thousand. Then we have to create what capital reserve of this two lakh. Okay. Capital reserve of rupees to that capital capital redemption is of it will be from general reserve only. Okay, general reserve to capital reserve or capital redemption is of you, you should say uh, to that then uh, make the payment. Third, a 10% percent shareholders account debited to bank uh, to the 10,000. Fourth, a uh, letting of a premium reserve, premium on reserve, so profit loss account debited to premium on reserve, that is 10,000. Okay, now let's start with question number 10. Question number 10 High purchase transactions uh, Amandeep bought two cars from uh, from the Fair Value Motors Private Limited on 1st April 2016 on falling terms for both the cars Down payment 6 lakhs uh, First installment 4,20,000 Second installment 4,90,000 Third installment 5,50,000 uh, interest is charged uh, 10%, uh, 25% is uh, depreciation and uh, diminishing. Uh, third payment nahi ho pai on deep say. Okay, he requests one car out of the two cars. Agree to leave one car uh, with the, the company and register the uh, car against the amount due. The car taken over was valued on the basis of 40% uh, charge uh, on the turn down basis. Okay, was paid after three months uh, with interest at twenty percent. So we have to uh, cal uh, we have to calculate the cash price of the cars and the interest paid with each installment. So let's start. Let's start with the question. Firstly, question number ten. Calculation of cash price and interest. Third installment. Uh, whenever we have to calculate the cash price, we calculate from third, then second, then first. Always start with the last installment. Okay. Cash price and uh, interest. So, what's the installment? Last installment uh, 550,000 and the interest amount and the interest rate is 20%. I suppose, uh, sorry, 10%. 550,000. 550,000 it is at 110 we have to bring it 200 okay it is at 110 we have to bring it 100 so 5 lakh is the cash price and the remaining amount 50,000 is the interest or you can say 5 lakh 50,000 divided by 110 into 10 50,000 second installment is of 4 lakh 90,000 
Save your story. It has a 4,90,000 plus 5 lakh as it includes the last installment too. It is 9,90,000 that means 9 lakh here and 90,000 here. First installment. Nine lakh. Plus six lakhs. Six lakh. Sorry, four lakh twenty thousand. Four lakh twenty thousand. Divide by one ten into hundred. Okay, it comes to be I think twelve lakh. Twelve lakh rupees, and the remaining amount of twenty thousand is the interest. Okay, total interest that we talk about is twelve thousand plus ninety thousand plus fifty thousand. It comes out to be one lakh forty one fifty two thousand. No, sorry, one lakh twenty thousand plus ninety thousand two lakh ten thousand two lakh ten thousand plus fifty thousand uh, two lakh sixty thousand. Is the total interest and cash price is first installment 12 lakh plus 6 lakhs for the uh, for the down payment. Cash price is always excluding the interest that is piece 18 lakh. If we talk about uh, the total higher purchase amount, higher purchase amount, it will be 18 lakh. Plus two lakh sixty thousand. That is twenty lakh sixty thousand. Okay. We have to prepare car account. What the uh, as it account what so it is. Car account Two uh, Amandi for the first year. Um, so two vendor company. Total amount shall be how much? Just guess what will be the uh, total amount. It index. By depreciation, how much is the amount of depreciation? Forty percent, not forty percent. It's twenty-five percent. That is one fourth. That is four lakh fifty thousand. By balance carried down, thirteen lakh fifty thousand. Two balance brought down thirteen lakh fifty thousand. Okay, by depreciation here again uh, for uh, twenty five percent three three seven five double zero by balance can it down. Ten lakhs twelve thousand five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. Two bands brought down. Ten lakhs twelve thousand five hundred. By depreciation to full year ki lagi kiyo. Two five three one two five. Two five three one two five by vendor by vendor company by profit and loss 
uh, the loss on uh, reposition and by balance character. C. If a ten lakh twelve thousand five hundred is the amount of two vehicles, what will be the amount of one vehicle? Not uh, this no. Uh, ten lakh twelve thousand five hundred minus two five three one two five. That is seven lakh. Fifteen nine thousand three hundred and seventy five rupees is the amount of two way uh, two vehicles. What will be the amount of one vehicle? It would be three seven nine six eight eight approximately. Round off three seven nine six eight eight will be the balance character. Okay, will be the balance character now. We'll prepare a working note here. See. Eighteen lakh uh, was for two vehicles. What will be the amount of one vehicle? Nine lakhs. Uh, he charges depreciation at the rate of forty percent. So three lakh sixty thousand subtracted. The amount left is five lakh forty thousand at the end of first year. Then again, forty percent of five lakh forty thousand. It would be two lakh sixteen thousand. Okay, the amount would be five lakh forty thousand minus three lakh twenty four thousand. Okay. What I'm doing again and again. See, at this amount, the vendor took over the car. Okay, uh, if nine lakh was the value, minus twenty five percent, that is uh, two lakh twenty five thousand. Is the depreciation that comes out to be six lakh seventy five thousand. Minus twenty five thousand one six eight seven five zero. Five lakh six thousand two hundred fifty rupees. Minus 25%. At last, for three years at the end of the year, one two six five six three. Round off. That comes out to be three seven nine. Six eight seven. Okay. And what would be this amount? Minus forty percent here. Here the minus forty percent. One two nine six double zero would be subtracted, and the amount here would be one lakh ninety four thousand four hundred. For this amount. The vendor took away the uh, car. One lakh ninety-four thousand four hundred. One lakh ninety-four thousand four hundred, and approximately three seven nine six eight seven. Three seven nine six eight seven. For the amount that is one lakh eighty-five thousand two hundred eighty-seven. 
is the loss. And here would be the basic figures. Zero one. Two five double zero minus two five three one two five nine four four double zero minus three seven nine six double eight. Yeah. One lakh eighty five thousand. As I said, one lakh eighty five thousand two hundred eighty seven would be the loss. The question is finished. Today's plan is finished. Okay. In now the finished questions. Our finished questions are our uh, are question two, question three, four, five, six, and ten. Uh, Out of twenty questions, uh, one two three four, one two three four five six questions are completed. That is fourteen. Okay, for the for the number nineteen uh, exams, the tax arrangements have been uploaded on my Telegram channel and Telegram group. So I'm providing with you with the link. Do visit it. Do join them. Okay, and uh, after some time, I'll be picking up with the important topics for CA intermediate accounts and advanced accounts. Okay, thank you. Everybody. Take care and bye bye.